What's happening, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Anonymous Nobody. I'm back with another video. Today, we're going to discuss the red pill rage and ways to cope with it. Stay tuned. Welcome back to today's topic of red pill rage and how to cope. When I first came into the manosphere and started watching and reading about red pill content, I noticed that I have not to this point seen any content or video telling men how to actually cope with this rage portion. Um, if you go to any live streams, you'll see them show up and you can tell that they're struggling in that red pill rage stage. Some men figure it out and move on faster than others. And some remain in that stage way too long where it's perpetual. So I came up with a small list of how to cope with that rage as we've all gone through this exact same stage. Similar to all men were beta at one point, even if they are alpha. I truly believe that nobody's born alpha. You become alpha. You learn to be alpha. You pick up characteristics to be alpha. You've been groomed to be alpha. I don't believe anybody's born a certain way. I believe your environment and the people around you and your experiences shape and mold what you become. And ultimately, your choice within yourself, if you choose to, to go on that path or that journey. So the first thing you have to recognize, fellas, why you stay in that red pill rage stage is because you refuse to accept female nature. You refuse to accept that women will be women. Yes, they will come in different types and they will try different maneuvers or different uh, avenues to get to that end goal. But nature is nature. And the sooner you accept that, the faster you will learn and move from out of that rage stage into the acceptance stage. So like I said, number one on that list of how to cope with red pill rage, you must first accept female nature. The next thing that I noticed, um, and this isn't even particularly with red pill rage, this is just in general. Um, it is far more difficult to unlearn things than it is to learn. So like I said at the beginning of this video, all men at some point were blue pill because that's what they were taught. And at some point in their life, they discovered red pill content or red pill nature, or they were taught red pill philosophy. And although you have transformed into that red pill mindset, the beta within you does not die. It merely is suppressed because even the, the, the most alpha man, out here has done something that's considered beta or blue pill. Blue pill, at some point, we all slip up. So understand that the process is indeed a process and it's going to be difficult, but it doesn't mean that it's unachievable. It's, it's more difficult to unlearn than it is to learn. And moving on into my next point, the only way to learn is through failure. So, again, with the content that I see out on the Internet, a lot of guys absorb the content, but they don't implement the content into their lives. So if you're on this journey 
it's great that you're reading all the books, you're on the live streams, you're focusing on your purpose, you're in the gym, but you still have to integrate everything into your daily routine to where it becomes normal, to where you don't even think about doing it. It becomes a natural order to your life. And the only way to do that is through failure. You're going to have setbacks. You're going to have relapses. But you must remain steadfast towards that goal. And this doesn't even just apply to red pill philosophy or dealing with red pill rays. This is a life philosophy that you should implement into your arsenal. This will ultimately get you to where you want to go at every facet of your life. Health wise, finances, education. Any part of your life that you look at, if you take that philosophy and implement it, you will be successful. So moving on to my to my next point of how to deal with the red pill rage or how to cope. Uh, redirect the energy that you put into women back into yourself. Because we all know you cannot destroy energy. You can mere, you can only transfer it. We've all experienced this. Say you're in a room, you with you guys, you know. And somebody walks in and they don't even have to say anything. And you notice that the whole energy in the room changes. That's the type of energy I'm talking about. You know, somebody could just come in and they they just have a negative energy, a negative aura about them. Or vice versa. Somebody can have a positive energy or positive aura. And it changes the whole mood of everyone in the room. Take that into consideration when you're going through this journey. Redirect that energy back into yourself. Again, it's not easy. It's going to be a struggle. And I know it's a hard pill to swallow, but anything worth having is usually difficult. But when you reap the fruits of your labor and you look back at what you've accomplished, you'll feel so, so much more satisfied than Wasted energy on something that <clears throat> you cannot change, which is female nature. Cannot change it. So this is my last point, and I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, how to cope with red pill rage. Keep busy. As they say, the idle mind is the devil's workshop. So you must keep yourself busy. You know, um, improve or learn new skills. You know, um, enhance things that you that you've already that you're already doing. You know, I was on a few live streams, and you know, during this quarantine this year, I picked up a few new traits myself. You know, I've started this this podcast that you're listening to right now. You know, I've self self taught myself how to play the drums. I've learned how to play chess. You know, things like that keep keeps your mind sharp. It keeps you busy. It keeps you from your focus from drifting off from your ultimate goal. Cause like I said, ultimate freedom is mental stability. As I said on another video. That that peace of mind where you don't feel trapped or you don't feel boxed in. You're free to go and do whatever you see fit. And you let people gravitate to you. It's easy and you don't have to do anything versus if you're in chase mode and you're trying you're trying to pull people towards you versus letting them come to you. Same thing applies to women. It's much easier when a woman comes to you than you pursuing or chasing after a woman. So that's my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Um, be on the lookout. I'm going to start posting content over on Patreon. And I'll let everybody know once I start doing that. I'll put the link in the description. And I'll have some content that is just exclusive to Patreon. 
And some of my videos here on YouTube, I'll be posting to Patreon before I come to YouTube. Again, share, comment, like, subscribe. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. This is Mr. Anonymous Nobody. You take care. I'll be back at you soon. Peace.